Hi, this is Kalitha Albert in Seattle, Washington, author of Situations, a book of uh, poems uh, about life. I want to recite one of the poems to you. It is called Old Al. And Al was a real person. He was a notorious alcoholic. Uh, so much so, I'm going to tell you a little story about Al. Al uh, went to sleep <laughs> over at somebody's house. And this is in the South. Uh, fell out drunk on the couch. He was um, drinking and fell asleep and left his drink on the floor by the couch. So in the morning, <laughs> he wakes up. And I didn't see this. This was told to me, okay. Um, he wakes up in the morning and there is a <laughs> roach in his drink. True story. This was told to me verbatim. I did not see it, so. <laughs> but there was a roach in his drink. And so Al uh, saw the roach in his drink in the morning, picked the roach out of it and finished a drink <laughs> how disgusting is that okay uh, what I know about Al is that Al was a fabulous singer he was a fabulous singer and uh, when he was young was a very handsome man um, he was, he's, he's a classic story of, to me, a Southern man who never lived to be what he was supposed to be. It's just really, um, one of the situations in life is that the really fabulous people, really wonderful people, um, who have a heart and who have a soul, they don't last very long and this world just shreds them. And to me, Al is one of those people. Um, alcoholism uh, was a problem for him. Um, he'd been treated very badly. A lot of people were jealous of him. A lot of people were envious of him. Um, he was the youngest son in a really big family. And his older brothers did not look out for him. Not at all and the dad didn't look out for his sons and you know the mother uh, eventually uh, just completely bailed on the family because of uh, just the issues with the father the father was oh mm, uh, in my mind, I think of him like Joe Jackson, Joseph Jackson, just 50 million times worse, 50 million times worse. And um, the mother, like I said, uh, Al's mother just uh, abandoned the family. So no, no one has ever said whatever happened to her or how she passed away or anything. Of course, there's stories that, um, different ones in the family likes to tell or whatever but they're all lies <laughs> they're all lies so anyway i've talked enough to give you the kind of background i hope you have a picture in your mind of uh who al was and um the type of family that he came from and um the reason why i decided to write a poem about him is because i just thought he was amazing I thought he was a crazy old man because he was old by the time I knew him and I just saw pictures of him when he was younger and I heard him sing and he was just really amazing and it's it's just heartbreaking to me and I guess it's my poet's heart that people like him like uh, Whitney Houston you know so many gifted and talented people we just lose and it's uh it's just crazy to me meanwhile these untalented <laughs> really unattractive really um 
horrific people tend to uh, be gully enough to survive on this planet. I mean, this planet is made of dirt. And I guess in order to do well here, you got to be dirty. You got to be filthy. You got to be uh, just germ ridden. You know, it's ooh. <laughs> another thing, life form that lives well here is the cockroach. And I think that people who are like cockroaches are the ones who survive. The ones who are not like cockroaches, um, they don't last very long. And I think that that's uh, a testament of, uh, to the life of Al and other artists like him. So anyway, here's the poem. It's from my book, Situations. Um, if you haven't gotten a copy, you can preview the copy, including this poem, as well as um, purchase the book. It's $2.99 for download as an ebook on um, iTunes. If you want a hard copy of the book, let me know, and I'll, uh, or you can just Google it. Um, but it's found in Blurb Books, B L U R B. The name of the book is Situations, and you can get your actual hard copy. Um, if you want me to autograph it for you, just send it to me, and I will autograph it and send it back to you. Um, if you let me know what city and state you're in, I will let you know when I will be there so that I can meet you face to face and thank you for purchasing my book as well as autographing it for you and taking a picture with you. So keep in touch with me I'll put the information down in in my link for this video so here's the poem the name of the poem is Old Al Old Al was a drunk Old Al was mean Old Al would cuss Old Al would sing <laughs> when Old Al would sing so much joy he would bring his voice was pure heaven in real life and in dreams. Old Al was a drunk. And yeah, Al was mean. But old Al was hurt. And old Al could sing. When old Al would sing, he had all the power. <laughs> he could make your heart break. He could make you holler. <laughs> old Al was a drunk. Old Al was a dream. Old Al was a saint with broken wings. Old Al was a man who had feelings. Well, now Old Al has died. Now he sings only in my dreams. So that's the poem. O Al is an original poem dedicated to and inspired by a real person. Uh, I hope Al can appreciate this poem that I wrote about him. And um, just God bless his soul. God rest his soul and other souls like him. You know, he isn't forgotten by me. And um, I'm sure other people remember him as well. So, Feel free to comment, uh, feel free to send me your feedback, any questions um, below, and I will respond. This is Kalitha Albert, author of Situations and uh, Poet, and I am the author of this poem, Old Al. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.